And Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechach, Kudash, double honor of the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth from. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the man, woman, the children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Um, this is a sh <clears throat> an article coming from Russia Today. Father of trans teen to be kept in jail after speaking to press about resisting hormone injections injections for his child. And, you know, just uh, going into um, how this world is clearly at its end. All right. We're clearly at the end of this age because we are at it. We're in a time where, as the scripture says, that wickedness has greatly polluted the whole uh, the whole earth. Let me get that real quick. And you know, you know, you read these, you read, you know, uh, articles like this, and it's vexing to the point where you become numb to seeing these things. And you, at the end of the day, you just this is why we need Yahweh Shah to return. You know, this is why we cry out, we uh, hasten the day of the coming of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, because if these things continue. If this life, if the Lord can, if the Lord allows the uh, the wicked to bear rule, then everything will everything will be just <laughs> completely destroyed, or everything will be completely destroyed. Second Ezra 15 verse 4, it says, "For all of their unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness." Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, and that's why you're seeing all these things happening right now. That's why you're seeing the whole earth. And complete turmoil because the Lord is bringing these plagues upon the world. It says the sword, famine, death, and destruction for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. The, therefore, saith the Lord, all right? So, wickedness is exceedingly polluting the earth, and this article is, a, um, is an example of the wickedness that is polluting the earth, all right? It's a, it's a it's a prime example of why the wicked must be taken out and the kingdom be translated to the righteous to the saints all right which are starting to the house of David all right starting with Yahweh Shai okay sitting upon the throne of David and the elect so that righteousness can reign on the heaven I mean in in, in the earth as it is in heaven it says Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. And this is, we are the mouthpiece of the Lord, all right? And this is why the Lord has put it, you know, into our spirits to continuously to cry, to sigh and cry for all the abominations that are being done here. And ultimately, the Lord is going to act, all right? Right now, he is given a warning, but we're seeing that the time of the warning is coming to an end, all right? Because it's becoming harder and harder for this word to get out for this word to be publicized okay so it says i will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit neither will i suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves and that's what you know we we desire man we desire that the lord does not continue to let these things all right continue to let the wicked you know be prideful continue to let this world all right uh, um relish in their their evil doings okay the scripture says what who shall stand stand up for me against the evildoers it says behold the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continuously continually and that's what we do man you know we complain continuously continually about all the abominations that are being done here so let's read this man and like i said you know reading this you it's, it's just like it, it, this was this world has to go man all right the, the 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 ordinances the ways of this world is just completely out of order completely completely destructive man completely evil satanic says a canadian man involved in a legal battle battle over his right over his right to object to hormone treatment for his uh, teenage trans child has reportedly been jailed and denied bail bail for violating a gag order banning him from discussing the story so a man a biological father is jailed 
for talking about a issue, a story involving their own child, man. Says Robert uh, Hoogland was denied bail by the Vancouver Supreme Court on Friday and will remain in the North Fraser Remand Prison, according to news websites, website The Post Millennial. He was arrested this week for contempt of court due to his continued violation of an order restricting his speech regarding his transgender child. <laughs> so you can't, they, they, have, they have the right to tell you that you can't talk about your own child. Hoogland fought, and this is why we say that everybody is, is, uh, is slaves, man, okay? When we talk about the signing of the birth certificate and how, you know, it, it has a, um, it has a uh, stock number on it, you basically, basically, when you have a birth certificate, you basically uh, uh, are a, are a uh, property of, the, of, the, of that state or that government that you were born in, Okay. It says, Hooligan fought a lengthy battle defending his right to have a say in whether life-changing, life-changing hormone therapy may be offered to a minor without parental consent. So you don't even have consent. You don't even have a, a um, they're, they're basically saying that you don't even have authority over your own child. But see, when, it's, when it comes to if your child does something illegal, Right, if your that child does something illegal, then who do they? Who are they? Who's gonna have to pay for that? You know, let's say your child um, illegally gets into a car accident, or, or you know, um, your child, you know, does some arsony or something like that, and there's property damage and there's some type of financial damages. Who are they gonna? Who's 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 in? Who's gonna have to pay for those damages? Your the parent is, but here it is. They're saying, well. If uh, uh, if you're if you don't have any say so whether or not over a life changing uh, uh, therapy, straight pure wickedness, man. It says a signature case in Can uh, Canada's British Columbia started several years ago. At the age of twelve, Maxine, the child's not the child's real name, who was assigned who was assigned female gender at birth, like that. Even the verbiage just is complete wicked. Who was assigned? assigned female gender she was born a female what do you mean assigned female gender at birth you're either born man or a female all right the scriptures let's get it man and, and this is just goes to show you that just the 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 satanic and the evilness of of esau where he thinks to change the times ordinances the ways because what did the lord say all right that he his creature all right you don't believe esau thinks he's god that he has a power to change nature. Okay, this is first. Uh, this is Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-seven. So God created man in His own image. Who created it? The Alahayim. All right, off off the blueprint of the Creator, Yahweh, through His Son Yahweh Shai and the Alahayim and the and the powers that was with Yahweh Shai. In the image of of God created He Him, male and female created He them. And this is why you do, this is why Esau, you're going to get exactly what's coming to you. This is why Yahweh Shai is coming with the wrath of the Almighty, man. Because you are, are opposing, as it is written in 2 Thessalonians, who exalteth and opposeth uh, everything that is called God. It's no assigned female gender at birth. No, he would, it was, the Lord put a spirit, a feminine spirit, all right, in a vessel, which is a female vessel. And the Lord created the, uh, the that female vessel. It wasn't no assigned. Fucking devils, man. Let's go back. It says, um, struggle to find her place in life, including her gender identity. Her school counselor suggested she may be transgender, referring her to a doctor and telling the school to treat her like a boy. <laughs> Straight madness, man. Straight madness. By the age of 14, the teen was identifying as a male trapped in a female body, which is ultimately a, a, a demon. All right. It's ultimately a, a devil that is possessed that uh, this uh, uh, individual to where they're they're a lunatic, man. They're a lunatic and they need healing, casting out of these evil spirits, not giving into the evil spirits, man. And that's why this place is just nothing but a habitation of devils. 
Because under the un, under the vibration of Esau, who comes after the power of Satan, you they this place Esau, he allows these demons, these devils, the people that are possessed. He uh, he feeds those demons. He feeds that entity, that spirit, that evil spirit that is in there. Okay, he enables it. Why? That's why this place will always be mourning, man. That's why the the, the people are mourning, because righteousness is not dwell. In the world of Esau. It said it was eager to start. Home uh, home on therapy. The mother was supported of the decision. But Hooglin. Ho who was separated. From the rest of the family. But shared custody over the child. Felt things were rushed. He said he would be okay with the transition. With a transition. If his child was older. And more prepared to make an informed decision. About life altering procedure. The consent form he's refused to sign said hormones could result in a various health complications, including uh, elevated risk of heart disease, stroke, or diabetes, and even infertility. So this man is trying to look after his uh, uh, child's well-being, okay? But here it is. He's being de demonized. He's being ostracized. <laughs> and so once again, it's a lot here for my voice. You know, uh, my voice is, I lost my Lost my voice, so that's why I sound like this right now. <clears throat> it says, it happened in 2018 and it led to a series of court proceedings to decide whether Maxine could be an ultimate arbor arborator on the matter. That was the position of the gender clinic at BC's Children's Hospital based on the Infants Act. The law says a quote-unquote mature minor may give consent to receiving health care. <laughs> so, it, they call transgender hormone health care that's taking care of your health <laughs> come on man i'm not gonna keep reading i just want to get to this one point just to show just to just to show how wicked uh esau is so is in hooligan's case canadians court repeatedly sided with the hospital and allowed hormone therapy to proceed so without his consent they was they let him do it uh they let uh this this uh this transgender, you know, without the without the consent of the father. Moreover, the father was significantly significantly restricted in how he could speak about the case. He was ordered to always use Maxine's chosen name, gender, and pronouns, and was banned from trying to convince his child to stop the therapy. So he couldn't even sit here and be a father. He couldn't even sit here and sit and 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 talk to his daughter about this decision. Banned. By who? <laughs> the courts, the governments, Esau's, Esau's system. And this man is probably an Edomite himself, you know, probably, I don't know, you know, I didn't go try to Google these people, but regardless of it, um, so like, I'm not even gonna say it's an Edomite, because I don't know, you know, I don't know if this man is a Jake or Edomite or heathen, whatever, but the fact of the matter is, in Esau's world, they believe, they are taking away the rights of life, human human rights, man. The right of that's why we say, man. There is it's it's a curse to even have a child uh, uh, in this world, man. You know, for you know, brothers might have children, but you gotta sincerely like look. If you don't have Yahabashimiel Shai and you bring a child into this world, you are doing your child a grave grave. <laughs> Grave uh, 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 dis disservice, man. Okay, because it's only through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai that you can actually raise your child, uh, uh, have a child, you know, be raised in the right mindset in this world. Because everything that they're seeing, everything that they're hearing, is going completely into a satanic mode, man. Do as thou wilt, uh, uh, um, do as thou wilt, you know, uh, vibration. It says a judge even stated that his interviews with the media in which Hooglin referred to Maxine as his daughter and said things like her DNA will not change through all these experiments that they do may be considered family violence. So the fact that he is speaking truth, that her DNA won't be changed. But he said what? The, the, the court said that that can be considered family violence and basically he can be penalized for, for saying that, man. Straight, utter wickedness. And what did the scriptures cause this place? Spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Spiritual slavery and, and just perverseness. All right? 
that's what Esau's rulership is, man. You know, so I'm going to end it there, man. I just want to bring this out. Hey, we need we need to get the hell up out of this place. All right? We need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to, to uh, shorten these days. Okay, because if not, hey, we will all have been. Let's get that. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 8. It says, verse 9, it says, Except Yahweh of hosts had left us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have all we should have been like unto Gomorrah. All right. And that's why it's for the elect's sake the Lord is going to take the uh, uh, return. For the elect's sake, the Lord is going to take out Esau, take out this wicked kingdom, and establish righteousness, man. Okay, and, and that's why we gotta continue to keep crying and sighing unto Yahweh Basha and Yahweh Shai for all the abominations that are being done here, all right? Being vexed with the filthy conversations of the wicked. Let's get that too. Second Peter chapter 2, verse um, 7, uh, 6, it says, And turning the cities of Sodom and, and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto, unto those that after shall live ungodly, all right? And it's going to be even worse. I mean, it is even worse because the, the the people now are even worse than the people during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, man. But here it is that gets elevated, that gets uplifted in this place. Verse 7, and delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Okay, and we go into the, con the word conversation, it's manner of life. And we are in the lot of Lot, being in spiritual Sodom, being vexed. With uh, the, the the manner of life that that is being promoted here, man, and then the thing is, we we speak out about this. We hate the hate the evil and love the good. All right, we uh, uh, reprove and negate, and we're the ones that's that are considered hate speech. We're the ones that's considered, you know, uh, uh, evil. Hey, man, the Lord got got something coming coming for this place, man. All right, and all the people that love to have it so as well. All the ones as as in the Book of Romans. Actually, let me finish this and I get that. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. This is unlawful deeds, man. But Esau turning things upside down, he called these deeds lawful. That's why the scripture says what? He is the son of perdition, the man of sin. All right. The man of sin because he pushes, promotes, uh, uh, glorifies unlawful deeds, man. And at the same time, got the nerve to to uh, uh, put his hand on the Bible. At the same time, to, to has the nerve to quote biblical scriptures, man. Hey, man. Hey, the Lord. The Lord. The Lord is going to. The Lord is going to act, man. All right. The Lord is going to act. He's going to rectify every everything that is that this devil is doing, man. And the ones of you people that like this, that want this, that promotes this, Lord going to judge you as well, man. All right, verse 9 says it. And the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. And the punishment is at hand, man. A Bible ball, a bada dwaim, and a bada, you wicked Israelites, man. Shalom.